Hi, I'm Don Gould, and I am the owner of Donnie's Doors, and I make decorative screen doors, folk art, and I'm going to show you how to screen them right now. This is one of my doors here, and I've got it face down. I always put the screen on the inside of the door. This is, and, and when I have a tree in my design, the tree, the trunk of the tree is always the hinge side. So the first step, I take a, I take one of the stops and I align on the latch side. I want to align, make sure there's enough screen down here. I'm going to make it so it, the factory edge of the screen is on the latch side. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to use this because I know this is the width I want from the edge the inside edge of the style. I'm just going to take that. Good. That's good. I'm going to staple that right on there. Now I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull it a little taut. This is aluminum screening. So it does not it need to be yanked. Just pull it a little tight. And you have to buy good aluminum screening. And I suggest New York Wire Company because the other stuff, it just doesn't lay flat. And you'll never have a good job. So now I've got this edge straightened out just the way I want it. So now I'm going to walk over to that edge. This edge is not as well defined because there's tree branches and tree trunk. So I'm going to start right in the middle. I'm just going to pull the slightest little bit. My thumb and forefinger, just pull the slice a little bit in the center of where the screen mold would go. Put a staple over here. And I can see, paint a little bit where that line is. So I'm just going to really look that over carefully, where that is. I'm going to put myself another staple right there in this corner, pulling it just slightly taut, just to look straight. And then go back up to the upper corner over here, and staple it here, pulling it slightly taut. And then I'm going to go over to that last corner, and pull it slightly taut up here. Again, I'm looking underneath to see where that line is. Put it right up here. Now, I, I put a staple in right down this edge. I'm going to kind of pull that a little bit tight, a little bit, and I'm just going to work right down to that edge. Now, I'm going to kind of set where to staple at the bottom. What I want to do is find out this is the sculpted portion of the bottom, I want to find the lowest point, and then I'm going to set it to that. There is 5 and 9 sixteenths inches. I'm going to put it down beyond where it's going to go, 5 and 9 sixteenths. This, this is not where it's going to go, but this is giving me an edge to staple to. 5 9 sixteenths. So that will be the bottom edge right there. Now I'm going to staple that on the bottom. Okay, now I am going to, I'm actually going to put on this side piece right here so I can see where the top comes. I use 7 eighths by number 18 brads and I put them in what's called a brad pusher. I'm going to go right through. That's set on that highest corner. And I'm coming back up about, oh, about an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. So, because I don't want to split the end, I'm putting it in the top of the center rib. And it's going to set that right there. And then I'm going to work up through there. I'm going to put them about every six or seven inches. I'm going to stop for a second. 
And now I know that this is going to be set correctly, so I'm just going to pull this to the side. Now I can f see where this top ends. I'm going to put one more staple in there. There's that. Same here, I can look there and that's stapled fine in that corner. So I think I'm going to put this one in place as well. Five and nine sixteenths, right there. Inch and quarter in. Center. Usually it ends up with five along the bottom, unless it's a big, or and the, the top, unless it's a big, huge door. Stay a quarter inch from that. So now, put this sucker right on there. You can do this with a without a brad pusher. Makes it easier if you have one. You can do it without. You can do it with a, uh, a little hammer, nail set if you want. Okay, now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to set this by this because this is a good solid edge. You always want to go where your solid edges are and start from there. See, now I know that straight down through. I'm going to do the top right now, I'll show you how to do that. Now this edge over here, obviously there's no solid edge except for down there, and I didn't do that yet, but this is all solid. So I can start from that corner and then adjust this one to it. So I'm going to take this and set it like this, upside down on top. And that tells me where the top of that's going to be. It gives me a line to go down through and staple. in place now. And put that right, starting on this end. Now I'm going to do this end by holding these corners correctly aligned. They're correctly aligned. You can hold this right down. Five along the top, one in the center. Okay, just go through. You want the rest of it? Right up through. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to come around the other side. So you can see. Okay, now I just put that right into that corner. And I'm just going to bring that right down through. Okay, and right across here, same thing. Voila! Let's look at the finished door. This door has been painted by a local artist, Audrey Bubar, who is unfortunately moving away. That is a beautiful door.